Warning. 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 Yoga for kids and teens with Sean Vig and Addy. Thursday's yoga class, Eagles and Wolves. It's Thursday, my friends, and it's me, Coach Vig. Another new location. We have our lucky pond in the background. Thursday, this is Eagles and Wolves. Don't be afraid. Going to do a lot of shoulder stretching today, a lot of core work, and of course, a lot of other stuff in between. Make sure you check in right now, whether you're doing this solo in a small group with your class at school, with your team, wherever you are. I love hearing from you. And for all five of the yoga classes in this challenge, they're up there on the screen and in the about section below. Make sure you bookmark that. Ooh, we got sunglasses today. Okay. No weights, no machines. Let's begin right now. Eagles and wolves. There's a treat for Addie. So she has something to do while we're doing this cap on. A little chilly today. Remember, always use control and modify as needed. Oh, I don't like that look in Addie's eye. And pressing back. Addie's now behind the camera. Our lazy dog. Let's do a little twist side to side. Remember, breathe in the nose and out the nose. Think of filling your lungs with all that beautiful oxygen each and every time. And twisting side to side. Okay, there's a good girl. Addie will guard the set like she always does. And she give a thumbs up to this video if you like to do yoga with your dog. Let's do it one more time. Each. Okay, let's lift up into downward facing dog. Might be losing the sun here, so spread the fingers wide. We've done down dog in a few of these videos already. Let's add the down dog walk. We're gonna walk the legs. So one knee bends, the other leg lengthens. Relax the shoulders. There goes Addy. Tuck the chin. Let's do eight more steps. One, two, three, four. Add a little twist if you like. Five, good, six, seven, eight. Sink those heels down. Relax that neck. Keep that neck loose. I guarantee the neck is usually the last part of your body to release. Now bring the knees down again. Sitting on the heels, lace the fingers. Oh, there's something poking me in the foot. Lace the fingers. Mudra, open the chest. Drop the hands down. Great for opening up your breath. And enjoy that sun right there. I'm very fortunate. I get to do my working out and my training outside most of the time. Okay, we're working our way up to the wolf, the wolves. So release, come to downward facing dog again. This is called the three-legged dog. Inhale, right leg up. You could drop your left knee if you need to. With each inhale, lift a little higher. Each exhale, sink the heel down. Two more breaths, feel that balance, feel that strength. Excellent, bring the foot down and go to the other side. Left leg up, three-legged dog. Press into those palms. Addie's right here, shh, don't say anything. Sink that right heel down, two more breaths. Good, breathe into each and every pose. And bring the feet down. Again, dropping down to the mat. This time, lifting up. Lace the fingers. We have a version of the camel. Drop the shoulders back. We have the mudra. Whoa, tuck it. Let's pull the shirt down there. Okay. Little side view. Back bend if you like. And release those arms. Shake them out chair. Going to work our way into the eagle pose. So bring the feet down and we're going to press back. Like you're going to sit down in your favorite chair or stool. The weight goes into the glutes and into the heels. You should be able to wiggle your toes. Why don't you lace your fingers and reach them forward. Now my friends, this is called the chair. Auf Deutsch, it's called the stool. Now eagle arms. Take your left arm up your right arm is gonna come underneath. Wrap them around. Try to bring the palms together, your hands together. If you can't do that, 
make fists and bring them right here. So again, eagle. We're going to be doing a few of these during the class. This is called half eagle. If you want full, you're going to take your right leg, it's a balance pose, and wrap that right leg around your left. Now, think of it this way. Fingers up, shoulders down, elbows forward. Fingers up, shoulders down, elbows forward. Balance, find a focal point, one more breath. Excellent, low lunge eagle. Step the right foot back, bring the knee down. We did this before, the low lunge, slide that right knee back. And here we are, inhale, reach up. Now a lot of balance here, but this is day four. We only have one day after this, this is Thursday. So we are progressing, we are getting stronger, we are getting better. Inhale up, exhale, sink into the legs. One more breath. Oh, beautiful. Unravel the arms. Whew, set the right hand down, twist. Left arm up. Nice sequence here as we sequence these poses together. One more breath, twisting back a little more. Okay, set the left hand down. Step your right foot forward. And remember this, chair, lace the fingers and lift. Shoulders down. Can you see me? Okay. <laughs> now, right arm forward, half eagle. Bring the left arm underneath, wrap around. Fingers up, shoulders down, elbows forward. This is half eagle. If you want full, this time it's your left leg. Let me wrap that leg around the right. Press back into your glutes. Ooh, I'm wobbling. This is the wobbling eagle. <laughs> Three more breaths, focus. Feel the stretch in your shoulders and your back. The strength in your legs and all that balance. Okay, left foot goes back, low lunge. Bring the knee down, slide that knee back, and we inhale, reach up. There's our low lunge eagle. Exhale, sink into the legs. Again, inhale, reach. And down, let's do it one more time. Back, all that beautiful shoulder flexibility and release. Let's twist, left hand down, excellent. Inhale, right arm up. Oh, random singing, there we are. Take one more breath, reach that arm back. There's that beautiful twist. And step back, child's pose. Otherwise called the lazy. Oh, okay, Addie's really excited about this flow. We have lazy dog here. I wish my dog was lazy. Relax the shoulders. Again, add that little twist, keeping your lower back very limber. Good. This is uh, the only body you'll have. You want to take care of it. That's why yoga is such a good discipline, because you can do it every day, every day, and it will meet you exactly where you need it to be. Okay, moving into reverse plank. Walk the knees forward, cross the ankles, and press back. Dramatic. <laughs> Hands down. Now, there's a rock there. I like to turn my fingers out to the sides. You can have the hands here or back. Point the feet and lift. This is reverse plank. Imagine there's a cactus underneath your bum, so you're lifting, squeezing the glutes and the core. <clears throat> Three more breaths. Oh no. All right, come on down. This is an eagle half bolt. We've done half bolt before. Bring the feet in. Shoulders back and down. Right arm forward, left arm underneath. There we are, eagle arms. You can stay with the feet down or lift the feet off the mat. Fingers up, shoulders down, elbows forward. You feel that in your shoulders, in your abdominals, in your core, which is your abdominals, your lower back, hips and glutes. Two more breaths. Good, all these poses coming together. Now bring the feet down and switch. Left arm out, right arm underneath. There's the eagle arms again. Feet flat or lift up. Fingers up, shoulders down, elbows forward. It always 
bears repeating. Ooh, that sun. It's intoxicating. When you're finished with this routine, this Thursday one, I want to hear which is your favorite yoga pose so far. One more breath. Good. Unravel. Take the hands behind you one more time. Lift up. There's our reverse plank. Shoulders back. There's the cactus underneath our bum. And the frozen pond behind us. Two more breaths. Okay, we're going to work our way into the wolf. So cross the ankles. Come forward. Do a little really clever shirt tuck there. And come to downward facing dog. We're going to do ten wolfs on each side. You can also do this with your knees down, with your leg back, bringing the knee in. So bring the right leg up. Exhale, come forward, draw the knee in. Inhale, reach back. There's one. We're doing ten. Two, big stretch. Work the abs. Three. Four, smooth movements. Five, let's do five more. Six. Seven, good. Three more. Eight. Nine. And ten. Switch. Left leg up. Ten times. Are you ready? Are you? Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. Ten. One. Two. Three. Four. Lots of breath. <laughs> Five. Five more times. Six. Seven. Really explode up with the legs. Eight. Nine. And ten. Beautiful. Back to downward facing dog. Now we're going to combine the eagle with the lunge as we keep flowing. So take your right leg up, right foot forward. You can drop the knee or keep this back leg lengthened. Full lunge. Oh, lift up. Fix the cap. Now, right arm forward, left arm underneath. Here's the lunge. Okay, four breaths. Inhale, reach back. Exhale, sink down. In the nose, out the nose. Good, one more breath, a lot of balance. And unravel, step back, down dog. Great, just great. I love these flows, how we connect everything together. Left leg up. And left foot forward. We have the lunge, so come on up. Shoulders back and down. Left arm, right arm underneath. Four breaths. Here we go. Back bend and then sink down. My foot's sliding on a rock. Two more breaths. And once more, really reach back. Okay, unravel, turn to the front, wide stance, lace your fingers together behind you, and we have the wide-legged mudra. Tuck the chin, whoa, and down we go. Shake the head, no. With the exhales, draw the arms back, beautiful. Three more breaths. Open up the chest and the shoulders and the spine. Little adjustments in the spine, perhaps. One more breath. And drop the arms. Let's take it back to downward facing dog. That was excellent. Excellent. Bring the knees down. Child's pose. I'm sorry, lazy dog. You can call it either one. I like lazy dog. And again, twist it side to side. Really. Get a lot of movement in your back. As I said, you can do your yoga practice every day. There are so many variations, so many poses. One more time, each side in the twist. Okay, we're going to do the wolf and the eagle one more time to finish it off. So come to downward facing dog. Ten wolves. Wolves? Wolves. Okay, a little faster. In and extend. One. Big move, I'm slipping. (laughs) Three, remember you can do it with your knee down also. Four, five, 
six till we lose the sun. Seven, eight, two more, nine. Now bring the leg back. You can gently bring the foot down or do a little jump switch. With sound effects, 10 times, other side. One, two, three, lots of breath. Four, good control. Five, six, seven, three more. Eight, hope the camera's on. Nine, and 10. Now bring the foot down, walk or jump forward. Let's finish off one more time with the eagle. Right arm forward, left arm underneath. Lift up, if you want to do the full one, left leg crosses, keep the hips square. Fingers up, shoulders down, elbows forward. Two more breaths. Did I say two? Let's add an extra breath, so two more now. Okay, bring the foot down, switch the arms, left arm forward, right arm underneath. Make sure there's no elk coming, press back. For the full one, it's your left leg, around. Did I just do the left? I don't know, did I? I think I did. Oh, whatever one you did the first time, do the opposite. Hmm. I can't remember. I remember this dog though. One more breath. Okay. Mm. Testing my balance, Addy. Very nice. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Unravel everything, everything, and dive down. Let's finish in forward fold. Addy and I thank you. I ran out of treats, so she is most impatient. Make sure you check in below. This is day four. Let me know your favorite yoga pose so far, and let me know you're here. Yes, I will see you tomorrow for the final day, Friday, day five. It's going to be a total stretch routine, so make sure you subscribe to this channel. And uh, all of the videos, all of the classes in this series are in the About section below. And also, when you're finished with this, you can get on my free seven-day yoga challenge. That's also in the About section below. So you can just keep doing yoga with Addy and I as long as you like. Great work, my friends. It's Coach Vig in the sun with Addy, and I will see you tomorrow for the final day. Excellent work. Just excellent. <coughs> On my best-selling book, Power Yoga for Athletes, over 100 yoga poses for all ages and fitness levels, as well as 25 complete yoga flows and training logs for all the major sports. Get your copy today. Or perhaps you do better with four copies. <laughs>